Hey everyone, uh, here's a just a little quick little video of how I installed my CVT cooler right there on my 2016 Subaru Crosstrek with the CVT. Um, so to plumb it, uh, let's see if we can focus that right there. is my return line into the transmission and that comes from the oil cooler back into the transmission it's that line so if you look at it get a better angle uh, but there's two lines uh, the left one is the one you want to plumb in if you want it to go back into the transmission. The right one, the right line goes, this right line right here, goes into this stock CVT cooler that looks like a can of beans. Uh, yeah. The there will be two coolant lines and then the middle is what I use to plumb to go to the oil cooler. It's this one right here. Um, that shit was a bitch to get to so what I did was unbolt the, the cooler and then just there's like two bolts on that cooler. Uh, and then I just wiggled, wiggled it out and then pulled the hose clamp from there because if you pull it out from this position it's like impossible to get your hands in there plus you're doing it blindly so I think it's best to just remove the that cooler and then just pull the lines up so those lines go to the back of my airbox. Airbox would technically be here. This is the intake. And this is the thermostat for the oil cooler. I bolted it to the frame of the coop the car. Um this one was the one that goes from the can of beans cooler. Uh if it's not to temperature, it'll go back to the transmission, just how it was in factory. But when it hits 190 degrees, this will open and the oil will start to flow, redirected to the oil cooler. This is the oil cooler. This is a Durali 19 roll cooler I got from Amazon. Um, it's, it works really well. Uh, I mounted it, uh, you know, vertically. And then I plumbed it. So this is the feed line. This is the return line. So what I wanted to do is to maximize cooling so there's no air bubbles. So it would fill into here and then go all the way up and then back. To the transmission back to the cooler and then back to the transmission um, you want to have a thermostatic oil cooler because if you don't you might overcool the transmission fluid and cause problems with your CVT this is just insurance that you don't overcool it for a cold weather because you know you really fuck shit up if you don't have this. Take a look again. That's how it is. The way I mounted it is with the stock latch. There's an L bracket. This is the stock latch, stock bolt. I just had this. 
this L bracket, which came from my oil catch can. It came with it, so uh, I just used it for here. So you want at least three mounting points. Um, this way it's sturdy as hell. It won't go anywhere. Uh, originally I had two, but three is just way better. This is a factory hole. So I made this L bracket off some sheeted aluminum. So I just cut it and then drilled some holes. And then this is a factory bolt or a factory hole. And then I made this one. So it's also an L bracket that I just fabbed up. Uh, and then it bolts into this factory hole. Or it has a threaded nut, so I just used it. So it's pretty much reversible if anything were to happen. Yeah. That's like the cleanest way I could do it. So yeah. Hope you guys find this information useful.